Sunday ministry meeting, and it was a glorious time every Sunday. Um, we saw first that the God of Ab that the God of Abraham was this. Uh, I mean, Abraham typified the Father as the source. Christ typified the Son, and even uh, just received all the riches of the Father. And Jacob typified uh, the Spirit transforming the transforming work in the believers. Right. But actually, we don't just receive this one experience of each one. We receive all of the experience of all of them. We touch the Father. We, we inherit all the riches of the Father, but by the time we have the dealing by the Spirit. And what I really enjoyed this past, uh, this, the, the ministry meeting that really stuck out to me, actually was the ministry meeting that I missed. <laughs> but I watched it on Facebook, on the, uh, actually on, on YouTube, um, you know, throughout the week, and it was um, uh, Isaac wrestling with, uh, I mean, Jacob wrestling with God. And what really struck out was that even J although Jacob was conniving uh, in the beginning, David, David mentioned if he would have sat next to you in class, he would have had liked him. <laughs> even though he was this kind of person, the Lord chose him. Amen. And the Lord uh, said that uh, he will be blessed. Right. And, 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 the, and, and the less will serve, I mean, the greater will serve him. Um, so the Lord came and he wrestled with him. But even typifying the Spirit, just wrestling with us, even in our, even in our own day-to-day -day lives. We feel like we want to do one thing with the Lord. It's just saying, you know, come to me, trust me, you know, I'll take care of it. But we just, you know, we want to keep going. But then the Lord finally touches us and realize, and cause us to realize, you know, we're nothing without Christ. We're nothing without the Lord. So then the Lord touches us and we walk with the wind for the rest of our lives, depending upon the Lord in this way. So this is what, this little bit of what really touched, touched me this past semester. Amen. 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 Um, I just want to give a little bit of a brief overview of this system. Brand new faces, I'm not sure everybody's completely um, on track with what has been going on this past semester, which has just been glorious. Amen. Um, and so as Ben kind of went over and as my a little bit forward to this, I was going over to God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Um, and I just appreciate the picture, or the pictures that are offered in these messages. Um, in particular, you know, God, the God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, just suggests that we need every single experience of these believers. Right. Um, and I just want to start with the word in Hebrews 11, um, where it starts off, you know, this is the chapter where it goes in the Bible. Says, now faith is a substantiation of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Amen. Um, and in Hebrews 11, Hebrews 8 goes on to say, By faith, Abraham, being called, obeyed to go out unto a place which he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt as a foreigner in the land of promise, as in a foreign land, making his home in tents with Isaac and Jacob, and the fellow heirs of the same promise. For he eagerly awaited for the city, which was the foundation, whose architect and builder is God. Amen. And I really appreciate that. You know, we see these three types of people. You know, Abraham being a person who was called, although not completely willingly. In fact, in the beginning, we noticed that he was pretty much dragging his feet all the way through the good night, right? But then, eventually, he just learned to trust in God. So much to the point that the son that he had been given by God, Isaac, you know, the one who he delighted in so much, kind of, you know, similar to the picture of the Lord Jesus as the Father, right? But, you know, he worked so hard for it, you know, he, he had a son at first who he actually conceived out of his own preconceptions that he thought was right, but in fact it was against God's will. Right. But then Isaac was given by God for him, for his good pleasure. Right. And I just appreciated that even though he brought him up to the mountains and sacrificed him, he was still so willing to say, Lord, you know, I give this one to you, this son who I delight in so much, who I love with the deepest and most innermost parts of my being, yeah. I still give him to you, no matter what. And it's appreciated the faith that Abraham really exercised. It really shows that this is a glorious um, picture of how we need to experience the Lord you know, as one who really takes the Lord through blind faith. You know? um, but also, we look at Isaac, you know, one who just inherited all the riches that he received from his father. You know, Isaac, you know, would like to say he was a simple person, not exactly very um, thoughtful. But all he did was he just he just rested in the land that, that his father had. He didn't do anything. There was no need for him to do anything. Because he had already inherited everything from the Father. Amen. In the same way, we as believers, you know, there's nothing that we really need to do because the Lord has accomplished everything. Amen. Everything on the cross, there's nothing else that we can do. And there's nothing else that we can possibly do to satisfy the Lord except enjoy Him. Amen. Enjoy all the riches that the Father has given us through the Lord Jesus. Amen. And of course, we have Jacob, um, who's also basically the rascal of the bunch. He's the guy that, you know, we say that. Or David said that. If he sat next to you, he probably wouldn't like it. 
and it's probably true because he has that little Jacobian nature as his eternal point, um, where he's just a conniving, mischievous person. And, you know, um, his name actually means heel holder because as he was conceived, you know, uh, his brother Esau came out first, but he was holding his heel as he came out, showing that he wanted to be first, but he couldn't be. Um, but I just appreciated that, you know, we see the picture of him wrestling with God, right. which in our experience is so much, you know, what we do with the Lord on a day-by-day -day basis. As we're going through finals, as we're studying, you know, for midterms, and we're turning in papers, you know, so many times we're wrestling and fighting with God. And it's not because, you know, we're able to submit to Him, but the Lord just has to touch us to show us how weak we are, that we can't do anything without the Lord. Yeah. And I appreciate that, you know, in us, we have this conniving, mischievous person who right. wants to rebel against God, wants to do things according to our own desires. Mm -hmm. But really, we see that through Isaac, our experience is to be that we would not do anything. And again, we would just say, Lord, I submit to you that whatever your will is for me, I understand that it is your good pleasure. Amen. And I think some of us know this verse by heart. Um, it says, And we know that all things work together for good. Right. Those who love God, those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. 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 Amen.